Thanks for joining us today for our potpourri craft. This simple to make potpourri will help refresh rooms left stale from winter or help keep your bathroom from hanging on to undesirable smells. All that you need is a little bit of time, sunshine, and simple ingredients. For the actual potpourri, we'll need a selection of scented flowers like roses, marigolds, geraniums, or lavender. We're just gonna be using some roses today. You'll also need an iodized salt, one apple, one lemon, one orange, and half a cup of mixed spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. The tools that we're going to need for this craft are a cutting board and knife, a large piece of cardboard, a large tray or baking sheet, a medium to large bowl, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a wooden spoon, paper towels, and some containers to put our potpourri into. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is gently pull off the petals and leaves from our flowers and put it onto our large tray. We'll then leave this out of direct sunlight for a day to dry. After one day, we'll put our cup of unidized salt on top of the petals and leaves to help it dry further. With our petals and leaves removed, we'll put this off to the side. Next, we're going to take our cutting board and knife and chop up our lemon, apple, and orange nice and fine. We'll also take our large piece of cardboard and paper towels. We'll lay our paper towel over top of the cardboard and then put the fruit on top. Then we'll leave this in direct sunlight to dry for a few days. This might take a few sunny days depending on your forecast. You may need an additional tray or piece of cardboard to make sure that all of your petals and your fruit fit in a single layer. We'll check back on both in a couple of days to see our progress. So it's the next day and we're gonna check in on our flowers and our fruit. What we did with our flowers is we split it up into two trays so that it would dry a little bit better. Were your guesses right about what might happen? When we take a closer look at the flowers, we can see that a lot of the petals have shrunk, but the leaves and some of the red petals have stayed about the same size. The smell is quite fragrant. When I take a feel of the petals, they're pretty soft, but the leaves themselves are feeling dry and a little bit crunchy. What we're going to do now is put a cup of our unidized salt all over our petals and our leaves. If you need to, you can always put a little bit more salt on top of your petals and your leaves if there isn't quite enough. Now let's check in on our fruit. Were your guesses right for what might happen here? The size hasn't changed very much, but the smell and texture definitely has. On a closer look, our fruit feels a bit dry and rubbery, but the smell doesn't feel quite as fresh now. Like with our flowers, we're gonna check back in a few days to one week to check on our changes and drying. 
It's been about a week since we put our fruit and flowers out to dry, and things are looking good. The fruit and flowers have shrunk significantly, and they're pretty brittle. The smell of the fruit has changed to be pleasant, and the flowers have less of a smell than when we started. To put this potpourri together, we'll put our fruit and our flowers into our bowl. Make sure to gently shake off the salt from the flowers before putting them into the bowl. We'll also add in our spices. To make a half cup mixture of spices, we put about two and a half tablespoons plus a little extra each of cinnamon and nutmeg. And we've put about a tablespoon of clove. You can put in any combination of spices though. Now, we'll gently mix everything together with our spoon. It looks something kind of like that at the end. You can keep your potpourri in this bowl for one large space, or you can put them into smaller jars and leave these around your house. Some really cool science is happening where the combination of the fruit oils, fragrant flowers, and spices leave rooms smelling so nice, despite the individual ingredients not being so fragrant on their own. <laughs>